Janelle, as you are the coordinator for the Master Gardener Project at the Truman Home, can you just please give us some history of how we got involved in this project? In about 2008, the Truman Home staff was having a lot of difficulty in keeping up with maintenance of the grounds. There had been budget cuts. They simply did not have the workforce to handle the grounds that are at the Truman Home. So they contacted the Master Gardeners, actually they came to us, and we told them what we as Master Gardeners might be able to offer them. We kind of meshed what their needs were, what we could offer, and the project took off. One thing I like about working this project is it really stretches us because we know what we should do, <laughs> but that's not always what we can do. It's almost as much about what you don't do as what you do. The proclivity to jump right into a garden or a landscape project and begin appropriate gardening or horticultural practices is not necessarily what we're going to be doing at the Truman Home because our goal is to, whatever it takes, preserve this ancient plant material, the trees, the shrubs, the flowers. It's fascinating that this birea is 100 years old. I know. The condition of the grounds at the Truman Home is not perfectly coiffed. It's not what you might think the grounds around the home of a former president might look like. Very pristine, very sculptured. It's something different. I know that whenever we ask for additional volunteers to come out to work, I think one of the comments we have heard is, wow, it really needs it. That place <laughs> yes. looks bad. Yes. And they don't understand. The reason why we have all these weeds here is because President Truman really didn't mind weeds. We were cleaning out the pavers in front of the fence and people were gathering for the next tour, and, and I had a chance to talk to people and tell them about how we maintained the property and why it was that way. And one man's response was, I wondered about that, because it's the worst-kept presidential <laughs> home that we've visited. Yes. And I said, good, we're doing our job. Yes. When Truman had his vice presidential nomination, over 4,000 people gathered on the sidewalks and around that house came into the leaf-strewn yard. I don't think the way things are now with security and things like that, that we have the chance to get close to history being made the same way that they did when Truman was accepting the vice presidential nomination, when he would come home for the summers, for visits, things like that. So standing in those places, yes, being inside the fence, and getting to pruners in hand, wander <laughs> wherever we want yes. on the property, it is an honor. It's a fantastic experience every time we go there. I love working there. <laughs> <laughs>